All right, guys, this is going to be a review of the Springfield Defender Mil Spec Series pistol. I want to get this review out of there because there's no, this review doesn't exist online. Not really. There's a couple little glances over, and I want to clarify some things about this pistol. This is, they call it the F Defender Series. It's their bargain deal on guns right now and you can get these for around 500 or 450 depending on where you look at them um it's pretty it's a mil spec that's all it is they just call it the defender series it comes with one magazine one standard magazine this is mine but this is pretty much a pretty close clone of a world war ii model 1911 except for you know your stainless steel it's parkerized which parkerized is a very tough finish and it wears beautifully. If you've seen an old 1911 that's been shot to oblivion and it's just, you know, some of the metal showing through, it is a work of art. Um, you know, just GI, which actually I take that back, it's not GI. Um, it's got lower flared injection port. It's got better sights on it, which these sights are very good. It's not the best, but they're very good. Um, I've made some of my best shots with a gun just like this. I had the stainless steel version. The trigger on it's pretty good. It's a, better than average 1911. But, uh, you know, it's got your little take up right there. And then a crisp break. I would say about a five pound break on it. Now, it's not bad, not competition. But one of the cool things about this gun is Larry Vickers was talking about it. He said, this is the gun that him and his buddies got when they joined, I guess, Delta Force or Special Forces or something. Sorry for getting that out of context, but he had one of these, and they would customize it. And he says this is the same price he paid on it in the 90s. Um, these guns run for a lot more. Uh, they are great guns. They're not... They're not ultra smooth like a custom 1911. You know, it's not got polish, which that is about the simplest gunsmithing thing that there you can do. Watch a couple videos. It's easy. It's hard to hard to mess up. Um, I've got about I don't know 100 150 rounds of this so far. I haven't had a single failure with the gun. Works good. And I'm shooting some pretty worn out old mags with it. Um, matter of fact, the mag in there I got is probably 10 to 12 years old. So, Novak mag or whatever come with one of my Rock Islands back in the day. Um, you can do the skies, the limit with this. You can customize it however you want. I like the simplicity. I personally. I had one, I sold it, I meant to buy one of those custom 1911s after shooting it. I was like, I don't really like this. I don't like the big paddles on the sides. It just really makes the thin profile of the 1911 bulky. But yeah, it just really makes the uh, the profile bulky. And uh, I think it's beautiful. And you know, if you're worried about the wear patterns on it, of parkerization, parkerization really holds up good. It's what our military uses. It's very durable and it's cheap to refinish if you want. Um, these are accurate little guns. Uh, I personally don't like a, a competition gun for something that I'm going to use for defense. Competition guns are normally more accurate, easier to shoot, better triggers, but at the same time, you sacrifice accuracy for reliability. When you ultra tighten something up, it's generally less reliable. Not all the time, generally. You like a little bit of looseness to just. If you make it too tight, if there's an issue, it will stop. If you have a little bit of loose where it can kind of just power through something, kind of shove it in there without having to be absolute 100% precise, it's generally a little bit more reliable. Um, this is a dirty one, as you can tell. It's got some gunpowder residue. I've probably shot 100 rounds through it today. Um, no complaints. I personally like uh, Springfield better than Coat. I've had Coat. I had my uh, Coat uh, Taylor Edition Cerakote. That gun, for some reason, just gave me the awfulest hammer bite. It's not much more, but it, it, I, could sh I couldn't shoot a mag through it without just, uh, just shredding my hands, which, yeah, it wasn't very comfortable. I was worried about I shouldn't have bought the Cerakote 
yeah, it's going to wear too fast. I like to shoot my 1911s, and this worn Cerakote doesn't look as good to me as a worn parkerization. Um, and plus, I got a good, I traded it for something I can't remember. But, uh, all right, guys, go out and get this gun if you're interested. You won't find a better deal, which, like, for instance, Rock Island are running around 400, and Rock Island are great guns. I will eventually own another one. I think they're great little 1911s. Um, I wish I never would have sold my one. Uh, I had a tendency to do that, to buy something, decide I want something else and sell it. And uh, But you can get this for pretty much the same price as one of those, and you're getting about as good as quality as it can get as far as manufacturer goes. Springfield makes amazing stuff. I've never bought anything that was junk. I've never, I'm gonna knock on the wood, but I've never, I bought plenty of Springfields and I've never had one jam on me. So, all right guys, go get you one.